Hey everybody, welcome to Lex's World. Today we'll talk about gutation and xylem sap on cannabis plants, because a couple people asked me to do that one since the sugars episode aired. And then stick around because I'll be showing you guys my first step of the Mars Hydro LED experiment. Anyway, xylem sap. What is it? Why does it happen? And of course, the most common question, is this stuff psychoactive? First, you gotta start with gutation. So gutation is the act of xylem sap appearing. A plant goes through gutation when it exudes the drops of xylem sap on the tips or edges of leaves, or sometimes along the stems. It happens in other plants, so it happens in cannabis. So yeah, it's just sap. It often looks sort of yellowish, like ripe trichomes, but it can also appear clear. Because of the way it looks and the similarities to trichomes, everybody wonders if it's psychoactive when they see it. Well, since this fluid mostly just contains sugars and potassium and no THC, it is not at all psychoactive. Although it doesn't taste too bad. As you might have guessed from that, it's fairly easy to make this happen on purpose. The phenomenon of cannabis plants going through gutation happens more often in grows where you add lots of sugars as an additive. Folks who've watched my sugars episode and applied it know exactly what I'm talking about. But yeah, it looks super cool though. Makes for an absolutely breathtaking close-up picture. I wish it was psychoactive. And that's my two cents on it. I'll link to a more in-depth description of gutation below for those who like the biology grade explanations of stuff like this. Okay guys, and as promised, I wanted to give you all an overview of a sorta grow journal I'm gonna be doing right away. The idea here is gonna be to grow under this six band LED light. Uh, this is a Mars Hydro light and uh, it's a light with no chip on board technology but it's got enough bands that they advertise it as full spectrum it's got the equivalent output of a 350 watt high pressure sodium and the light is actually a very affordable price so i wanted to see if it actually performs well if it does a smart setup of this light would be to have two of them in a four by four or five by five uh tent or a space. Uh, you could even keep only one on during veg and save a lot of energy. And I think that at the end of this little uh, grow that we're going to be doing, we're going to probably be giving the slide away on YouTube as well. Now this is key. I'm not going to be helping out the slide a whole bunch. Uh, we're going to be using really, really basic things to grow. Uh, garden soil with maybe a bit of chicken manure, a very basic one-part veg solution, a very basic one-part bloom solution, uh, nothing else, or at least we'll try not to use anything else. pH is going to be about 6.3 to 6.5 and is only going to be monitored by uh, fluid samples. We're not even going to break out the TDS or pH meters for this one. Keep it really low tech. Uh, the idea here is to keep things real simple and to let the light do the bulk of the work. And uh, that way we can see how it performs. I'll link to this light in the description of this video, of course, so you guys can get a closer look. And in fact, most of the parts that you see in this grow tent uh, can be purchased or have their specs viewed at my horticulture shop, which I'll also link to in the description. Uh, this whole setup, tent included, can probably be done for less than 800 bucks. So uh, we'll check in about once a month on this and see how it's doing. So it's going to be kind of like a grow journal, but not crazy repetitive and every couple days. And uh, on that note, subscribe, hit that like button, and we'll see you next time on Lex's World. Catch you later.